after they replaced the water wheel and the water turbine, they ended up putting an old car rear end in, hooked up to a motor to power the two carting machines and two picking machines in a lathe over there also. They said it's a 1935 Nash car rear end, but as you can see, leather belt right above me, that goes over to power to that line shaft, connected to the next belt to go upstairs to power the other carding machine. And actually, this still does run the second carding machine today yet. It still runs fine yet. Then years ago, he didn't go to the local hardware store. A lot of times they did have to manufacture their own parts, so they did have this old lathe, which I don't know the date of it, but it's interesting. Haven't run it in 35 years though. We did fire it up last week and it still does run. So here we go. Forward. And reverse. Not exactly direct drive, but we have one, two, three, four sets of belts to run the lathes, but for not firing it up for over 35 years, still runs fine. They have an old drill press also. Somehow that probably was connected up to it also. So back in the late 1960s, I was very unhappy with Lawrence University because they knocked down the chimney and filled in the road behind the mill. Reason I was unhappy is because I used to fish right out of the window here. <laughs> and you fish out of this window there, or that window there, and it's kind of fun. And this is the old front of the boiler. The old flues inside you had to clean. That was my, one of my first jobs down here was to clean the flues. That was, Every Friday morning you ran the flue brush through and oof, clinkers came out of the boiler down there. That, that worked good for the traction of the driveway. You didn't have to put sand on. 